Under their group name, City Morgue, Zilkami and Sosmila, alongside the producer Thrax, released their first mixtape, City Morgue Volume 1, Hell or High Water on October 12th, and it's a definite standout compared to many of their contributions to hip-hop this year. With their overall sound being aggressive hip-hop that is backed by a mix of trap and metal production, the group is pioneering and even defining an entire new subgenre. This subgenre, sometimes referred to as trap metal, is still very much in its infancy because while there are definitely other aggressive rappers such as JPEG Mafia and then out of seas XXX Tentacion, City Morgue has a very few contemporaries in this new metal inspired trap, with these artists being the likes of Ghostmane and Scarlord. The fact that City Morgue has been given the opportunity to lead trap metal has not come out of nowhere because they've definitely had a very interesting come up. City Morgue's come up begins with Zil Kami due to the fact that he originally entered hip hop as a ghostwriter for 6 9 he was first brought on by Righteous P, the CEO of Akari Hultra, which is City Morgue's label. He was a ghostwriter for 6 9 and had childhood connections to Zil Kami. On No Jumper about his writing style for 6 9 he said this. I was writing songs where it should have been two people. Uh -huh. I would write like back and forth and I like would put it together and I'd be like this would be better if one person was talking gangster shit and then one person was talking cryptic shit and then gangster shit and like a back and forth. I was like I have to rap this other part. The sheer fact that he's writing for a feature allowed for Zilkami to make his musical debut on the 6 9 track titled Yokai on June 26, 2016 as a feature. The track was definitely a great debut for Zilkami, with him utilizing his now solidified aggressive style, even if then in its early stages. Just two months later, the pair would come together again to release Helsing Station, which was led by Zilokami, with 6 9 acting as a feature. This would turn out to be the pair's last track because of a still unsolved feud, but I think it's important to take a further look at these tracks because in retrospect, they're defining for trap metal as a genre and 6 9 and Zilokami as artists. In both Helsing Station and Yokai, it's easy to tell that 6 9 was actively trying to match Zilokami's sound. This comparison is valid because after their creative split, the pair went into complete opposite directions stylistically, with 6 9 chasing a more pop oriented sound that essentially facilitated his explosion in the mainstream, while Zil Kami stick to his metal influence, allowing for his development to a completely unique sound that has led to City Moore's gradual rise. After Zil Kami and 6 ix feud, Zil Kami would take a hiatus from June 2016 until February 5th, 2017, when he would release the track Go, with Bell Bonds and Sos Mula acting as features. This would be Sos Mula and Zil Kami's first track together after Righteous P, who worked at Sos Mula's mother's tattoo shop, connected the pair the day Sos Mula was released after being in jail for 15 months. After another single from the pair, Baggage Patch Kids, they would go on to release Yucca Mouth on February 21st, with this track being produced by Thrax, finally cementing the group as City Morgue. After Yuck Mouth, City Morgue would release 7 singles on a near weekly basis, along with Zilkami dropping 2 features, up until he releases now taking down 2 track EP, Life is a Horror Movie, on April 30th, 2017. Because of it now being nearly non-existent, with only a few low quality rips on SoundCloud and YouTube, the project really only needs brief discussion. It seems as if Zilkami was chasing the now cemented, but then still bubbling moody trap sound. On the track The Cauldron, Zil's attempt is definitely commendable and show true potential. The Witch is a different story though, where it seems to be a short simper from what I've heard, with Zil Kami incorporating an aggressive hook backed by Moody Versus. The Witch definitely didn't work, it was clearly the wrong direction for Zil Kami. Looking back, it probably was a good idea that he took it down because he quote, no longer liked it, unquote. According to Genius user, Samir Walji. Following this, City Morgue would release their first major single on June 20th, 2017, titled Shinner 13. The single would eventually land on their debut album, and for good reason, because it finally cemented their sound after their production, alongside their highly aggressive hook, tone, and lyrics, came together to form an amazing trap banger. Later that year, on October 15th, they would upload the track's music video, which would spark major controversy. The video, which included flaming skateboards, various guns, a child aiming an AK-47, and heroin being shot up, would be taken down many times from YouTube. The final version of the video was uploaded uploaded over 4 months later during February 2018, which removed or blurred out the more extreme stunts. Over the next few months, the group would release both Skatehead and 33rd Black Glass, which were yet again out of this world trap bangers. After this trio of singles, it was becoming apparently clear that City Morgue was beginning to make a name for themselves because of their unique sound that is so different from anything else out there. Off of these singles, City Morgue began to draw major attention and were on the verge of their big break, which would act as the bridge from them being considered SoundCloud rappers to real artists. This big break would come when Denzel Curry would release Act 3, Dark, of his album Taboo, on July 27, 2018, which features Zil Kami and JPEG Mafia on the track Vengeance. Vengeance is hands down one of my favorite tracks of the year, because although it's a banger, as a collaboration, it functions as a showcase of the up-and-comers that are soon going to break out of the underground and make real names for themselves. Because of the success of this track, it was announced on August 17th that City Morgue would be the opening acts on the North American Taboo Tour. Seemingly as a way to capitalize off of the hype for Vengeance, City Morgue surprise released a 3 track EP titled Be Patient. While Be Patient was the leftovers for what would become Hell or High Water, it definitely had fans from their following and those whose interests were sparked off Vengeance's attention. With a 5 minute runtime, Be Patient did what it set us to do by keeping the fans patience intact for the next 2 months. 
On October 12th, City Morgue released their debut mixtape, City Morgue Volume 1, Hell or High Water. This project is 14 tracks long for a 33 minute runtime and was accompanied by their previously released singles, Shinner 13, 33rd Black Glass, and Skatehead as the closing tracks for the album. In my opinion, this album deserves praise, because it's finally a true commercial showcase of what trap metal has to offer for the scene. In a general consensus, fans could agree that Zill and So showed amazing consistency for their sound, but some fans and reviewers alike see this as weakness. Anthony Fantano, who gave Hell or High Water a 6 out of 10, said this. It feels like these two are merely just trying to copy over the formula from their three biggest singles, which I guess is not a bad starter a bad taster if you're a new fan. It certainly does establish a sound, an idea, a style. The idea that this is an establishment project for City Morgue as a brand and as a sound is what I see this mixtape as, not something that's meant to change the game entirely. Wanting City Morgue to change the game in a subgenre that is still being explored is not too much to ask, but should not be taken as complete weakness if not accomplished. Zilkami, Sosmiel, and Thrax are essentially using this mixtape as a vehicle to push their sound onto a larger audience before they do something even more experimental in an already brash and extreme sound. Hell or High Water in my opinion, is more of City Morgue trying to lay down the outline for their future endeavors. In the last one since the release of the mixtape, the group has kept busy with Zilkami being featured on Powers Pleasant's Please Forgive, which is essentially a policy cut of the underground trap scene right now due to it featuring Denzel Curry, IDK, and Zombie Juice alongside Zilla. The group just finished the Taboo tour and are currently doing festival dates before embarking on their European tour. Finally, just recently Zilkami hinted at an upcoming solo tape by asking fans to comment on Instagram who they'd like to see on this upcoming project. Looking back to two years prior, City Morgue was basically non-existent, with Zilkami being an unknown ghostwriter, Thrax being an unknown producer, and Sosmiel was serving a jail sentence. To look now to where they've released two EPs and a mixtape, gone on two tours, and are putting out features nearly weekly, this bubbling group of artists are truly on the verge of becoming genre-defining artists for the entirety of hip-hop. City Morgue is going to soon emerge from the underground as the leaders of a sound so aggressive hip-hop won't be ready for, and I'm truly excited for that. Zilkami, Sosmiel, and Thrax together are without a doubt, are really going to shake out the game in the next couple years. I like to sell crack, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, so.